Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's Friday. We are in our rendezvous place where we study God's word together every single week in our weekly devotion. And today, I, I, I believe that God has given me a word for us and uh, we're going to dive right in into uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 16. Romans chapter 12, verse 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. Instead, associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Romans 12, verse 16. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. Instead, associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Living in harmony by being humble. Living in harmony by being humble humble. I, I heard someone said that you are who you associate with. Basically, if you associate with scoundrels, everyone that see you with them will automatically designate you as a scoundrel. If you associate with people that are humble, you will exhibit, you will exhibit humble behavior. In other words, you are who you associate with. The question we need to answer today is who do you associate yourself with? We can only live in harmony with others when we associate with harmonious people. And, and, and that remind me, it's the same uh, concept that we find in Psalm, uh, in Psalms chapter one. Now, it, it, with, uh, with our verse this morning, Romans 12, 16, we see the Apostle Paul encouraging uh, the believers in Rome to develop a spirit of unity, humility, and self-awareness in their relationship with each other. It, it also encourages them to value the worth and dignity of every individual, reject pride, self-centeredness, and seek harmony and agreement within the Christian community. Some say that the verse is a prohibition of partiality and respect of person within Christian communities. Others say that the verse means to aim at the same object from one another as for yourselves. This means to have the same concern for the temporal and spiritual well-being of others as your own. In the intricate tapestry of life, the threads of harmony are essential for a beautiful and cohesive picture. Romans 12, 16 offers a succinct yet profound instruction on how we as believers should interact with one another. In, in today's fast-paced and often divisive world, the call to live in harmony with one another from Romans 12, 16 resonates with profound relevance. As followers of Christ, we are called not only to coexist, but to actively pursue unity and understanding in our relationships. Romans 12, 16, we see Paul's offers a concise yet profound exhortation to the believers in Rome. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. Instead, associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own estimation. In these few words, Paul encapsulates a timeless message that speaks directly to the heart of how we should relate to one another as followers of Christ. Now, this morning, let us unravel the layers of this verse and glean wisdom for our walk with the Lord. We need to live in harmony with one another. Harmony is not merely the absence of conflict, my brothers and sisters, but the presence of unity, cooperation, and mutual respect. It's about recognizing that each person contributes a unique note to the symphony of life. As followers of Christ, we are called to pursue harmony, actively seeking ways to build bridges instead of walls to understand rather than to judge hastily. As believers, we are called to actively seek harmony in our relationships, 
both within the body of Christ and with those outside of the faith. This requires intentional efforts to understand and empathize with others even when we may disagree or come from different backgrounds. This requires a commitment to understanding, empathy and reconciliation and even in difficult or uncomfortable situations. Do not be proud. Instead, associate with the humble. Pride, my brothers and sisters, erect a barrier hindering genuine connection and understanding. When, when we're filled with pride, we view others through a distorted lens, seeing only their flaws while magnifying our own virtues. However, humility levels the playing field, enabling us to recognize the inherent worth and dignity of every individual as the Lord would see it. It invites us to walk alongside the humble, learning from their exemplary and embracing the beauty of vulnerability. Pride is a blockhead, a blockhead to harmony as it, as it breeds arrogance, self-centeredness, and a judgmental spirit. When we are filled with pride, we view others with, condense, with condensation, failing to recognize their inherent worth and dignity when we are proud we elevate ourselves above others, viewing them with contempt or indifference. Instead, we are called, my brothers and sisters, to cultivate humility, acknowledging our own limitations and, and, treating, and treating others with genuine respect and compassion and valuing others as fellow image bearers of God. And Paul continued to say, to, to say, do not be wise in your own estimation. Intellectual arrogance often blinds us to the wisdom and insight that others possess. When we consume with, with our own perceived wisdom, we become closed off to the to alternative perspective and hinder the growth that comes from learning from one another. True wisdom lies not in the accumulation of knowledge, but in the humility to acknowledge our limitations and the willingness to gather wisdom from unexpected sources. Humility, my brothers and sisters, is the antidote to pride, it, 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 enabling us to see ourselves and others with clarity and grace. Humility is the foundation of harmonious relationships as it enables us to empathize with others and prioritize their needs above our own. Humility allows us to value others above ourselves, to listen attentively and to learn from their perspective and experiences. True humility is not self-deprecation, as I've said before, but a realistic assessment of of ourselves in light of God's grace and truth. By embracing humility, we create an environment where harmony can flourish as we prioritize unity and mutual edification over personal agendas and preferences. We also create an atmosphere of grace and acceptance where genuine fellowship can flourish. And brothers and sisters, we need to have uh, 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 we need to have a teachable spirit. Uh, a key aspect of humility is being teachable, recognizing that we have much to learn from others, regardless of their background or status. Paul warns us against being wise in your own estimation, highlighting the danger of intellectual pride and self-reliance. God often speaks to us through unexpected voices, challenging our assumptions and, ex and expanding our understanding. True wisdom, my friends, comes from God and is often often found in unexpected places, including the perspective and insights of others. As we remain open to learning from one another, we grow in wisdom and maturity, becoming more effective ambassadors of Christ in the divided world. As we remain open to learning from one another, we grow in, in, in wisdom and, 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 and enriching our relationships and deepening our understanding of God's truth. 
Now let's apply these to our daily lives and and in and in our daily walk with the Lord, we need to cultivate that spirit of humility. We we need to we need to cultivate it because uh, if we take intentional steps to humble ourselves before others, acknowledging our own weaknesses and limitations and our dependence on God, we we seek opportunities to serve and uplift those around us, recognizing that true greatness is found in serving others like Christ did. We need to pursue. We need to pursue harmony and relationship. Actively seek to build bridges and under, of understanding and empathy in our interactions with our brothers and sisters. We li- we need to listen attentively, seek common ground, and and extend grace even in moments of disagreement. And brothers and sisters, we need to embrace a teachable spirit. We need to remain open. In, in, to learn from those around us, regardless of who they are, regardless of where they're from. Recognize that God often speaks through unexpected voices and be willing to humbly receive wisdom from others. As we bring this to a close in, in, in this world, marked by discord and division, the call to Hallelujah. The call to live in harmony with one another is both a challenge and a privilege for believers. May we reject today pride and embrace humility, actively seeking unity and understanding in our relationship with our brothers and sisters. In a world marked with by division and discord, the, the call to live in harmony with one another is more relevant and necessary than ever. As followers of Christ, let us reject pride and embrace humility, seeking to cultivate relationship character as by unity, empathy, and mutual respect. As we do so, my friends, may we reflect the love and grace of our Savior who unites us in his body, the church. And may we reflect the love and grace of our Savior and bear witness to the transformative power of the gospel in our lives and our communities. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us today, O God, to live in harmony with those around us, to walk in humility and to embrace a teachable spirit, O God. Give give us, O oh God, the grace to extend love and understanding to others, even in moments of disagreement, even when we don't understand, O oh God. May our wisdom guide our may, may your wisdom, O oh God, guide our words and actions, O oh God. May we may we, O oh God, reflect your love and your grace to the world around us, O oh God. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And we all say, Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I'm so glad you were able to join me. I'm glad that you stayed till the end. And if you were encouraged and blessed by these words, I pray that you will go ahead and share it with someone. And, and I also pray that you leave me a note and uh, and and uh, check the thumbs up, the thumbs up in uh, in 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 the at the bottom of your screen. And uh, and I pray that you were encouraged in your walk with the Lord uh, every week when we meet uh, in in this in this platform. Amen. May God be with you. May God bless you. May God watch over you. May his light shine upon you. May he give you peace today. I love you with the love of the Lord.